tonight at 6, the Jaguars will unveil new plans to renovate the stadium. Jags fans will learn what those plans are tomorrow. It's basically a new stadium because the bones are good, but they're going to redo everything. Those anticipated renovations could cost more than $2 billion, and you, the taxpayer, could foot half that bill, even if you're not a Jags fan. Those renovations, though, cover more than just the stadium. The Jaguars are set to release some of these plans in the morning. But tonight, News for Jags reporter Jim Piggott has been looking into what could happen and how much you could pay. Jim? You know, let me start right here. We are in the front of the stadium. And I'll tell you, in 2025, they could begin construction. Lots of changes could happen here. You know, we've heard about that retractable roof. That's probably going to happen. New upgrades to the premium seating. But one thing we're talking about in documents that we received today is this. Remember this? Remember Lot J? Well, Lot J could be coming back. And the reason, you know, is because more development in the area. Now, this is all part of the negotiations that will be going on. And the new mayor, Donna Deegan, when she takes office, will have to be involved in a lot of this. So a lot of this could change. But one thing we know, whatever happens, it's going to affect the taxpayer's wallet. Tonight with the Sky 4 drone, we're seeing the old but what could be major changes in two to four years at the stadium complex. As Florida Politics first reported, documents now show what could be ahead for the stadium and surrounding grounds. It's a plan that Jaguars and owner Shad Khan will be using in their negotiations for a new contract and will be released tomorrow in a special presentation online. In a nutshell, it calls for a $2 billion upgrade for the stadium. Well, that's going to be split 50-50 between the Jags and the city, so taxpayers could pick up close to a billion-dollar tab. Today, we talked to Mayor Curry about what could happen, but he emphasizes all of this is up to Mayor-elect Donna Deegan, whose administration will negotiate the stadium deal. What are we going to see at that stadium? It's state-of-the-art. It's going to have, obviously have a covered roof. Uh, they're upgrading, like, the premium seating. It's, it's basically a new stadium because the bones are good, but they're going to redo everything. And I think people are going to be really excited by what they see. And it does not end with the stadium, but the area around the stadium, what we called the Lot J Project two years ago, well, it's now back. It will now be known as the Sports District, and with the city paying close to $100 million for it, but Khan paying most to bring business development there. The mayor-elect and the incoming administration have shared with me that they want to get moving on this as well. And this afternoon, we got a statement from mayor-elect Donna Deegan, which says in part, we are evaluating the framework and are working with the Office of General Counsel and Council Auditor to review all prior agreements regarding the stadium and the stadium area developments. As I have said previously, when it comes time for negotiating, we will bring in a team that is experienced in negotiating this type of deal with the NFL. And it's no surprise that stadium renovations are coming back. It's been discussed for several years and was a major issue during the election, though the cost is surprising to some like Courtney Cargill, who was having lunch downtown this afternoon. I think Sean Conn has enough money where he can pay for it himself. The whole thing? The whole thing. And you think that would be fair for the city and something good for the city? Yes. There's other things in the city that needs to be paid for other than building a stadium. But likely it's going to be a 50-50 split. You know, one other thing they talked about is where's the team going to play, you know, when the construction begins. A couple of things to know. One thing they talked about, hey, maybe renovating or doing something with the baseball park. And, of course, we heard UNF. And we're also hearing that they could possibly go to Gainesville or Orlando. Those are things all under consideration that we've heard before, but they're things that are going to be negotiated. For now, we're live at the stadium. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.